Hi, I'm Jill, travel journalist, web geek and phone addict. I've been sent to Lisbon with a mission to find the city's highlights and hotspots using nothing more than my phone and a little common sense. Wow, this looks fantastic. Well done, iPhone. Oh, I love Twitter. Really enjoyed it. I was so hungry when I got here, but I've had a lovely, lovely meal. Um, the octopus with broad beans was particularly fantastic. Um, I'm about to have some panna cotta. Absolutely shattered. I'll probably do a quick tweet before I go to bed tonight just to see if anybody has some early morning recommendations for me. Bom dia from Lisbon. That's good morning. I know how to say that thanks to the iTranslate app I downloaded onto my phone. When I woke up, I checked to see if anybody had responded to my Twitter request for things to do. Several people had, so we're going to be doing those throughout the day. But I also downloaded a guidebook to my phone, which costs about 59p. And one of the things it said you must do is come to the Feria de Lana, which I'm not sure that's the correct pronunciation. But here we are, and it looks fantastic. So we're going to check out the flea market. Just brilliant. Oh my god, I love cow creamers. I have no idea where I'm going to put this, but my guests are going to be very impressed at my next dinner party. What do you think? Tell me a little bit about Boca. I tried to build a restaurant where you could find high-level cuisine. How did you find me on Twitter? You can find people to what they're asking in the moment. So I saw you asking for Lisbon. I follow some people that were following you. Yeah. So you just get to know each other. When I was sent to Lisbon, I knew nothing about it except that they did one thing, my favorite pastry in the world, the pasteas de nata. Mm. That is delicious. It's light and fluffy, has a sprinkling of cinnamon on top, and the pastry is really fresh and flaky. That is a little bit of heaven. You can see how popular it is from this queue, but I'm telling you, it is worth the wait. Since I arrived in Lisbon, I've been hearing about the Lux nightclub, which is part owned by John Malkovich. I've been trying all day to get on the guest list with no luck. As a last resort, I went onto Twitter just to see if anybody had any ideas. Within five minutes, Pedro, my new best friend from Boca, tweeted back to suggest that I run along to this restaurant in Bairro Alto and ask for the owner. And he is the man who's helping us get into Lux. And bang, within five minutes, Miranda had sorted us our entry into Lux, and we're gonna go eat at the swanky restaurant next door, all thanks to Twitter. I've just come out of the club, it's nearly 4 a.m and I checked my Twitter and somebody sent me a message to say that I have a surf lesson booked for the morning. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel to get a few hours of shut eye. I made it amazingly for my surf lesson. After four hours sleep from partying all night at Luke's, we asked for things to do on Twitter and somebody replied and said it was one of the best places to learn how to surf. You've got a world famous surfing beach about half an hour from Lisbon, but very close to the city, just 20 minutes on the train. There's a fantastic beach for beginners because the waves aren't too high. The surf isn't too mad, so it's perfect conditions. Unfortunately, today the weather is really foggy, but the surf still is looking quite good for a beginner, so we're just going to put on the wetsuits, and I reckon by the end of the day I'm going to have turned pro. No, that's not right. Okay. That was awesome. Only was up for about a millisecond, but still, I reckon it's going to be good. Lisbon has been a real find. It has a beautiful setting on seven hills overlooking the sea stunning architecture and a vibrant youthful energy. I think it's one of Europe's most underrated cities. What's more, using the free XE.com currency converter on my phone, I realize what an absolute bargain it's been. I do hope you've enjoyed this tour of Lisbon as much as I have. I want to say thanks to all the people who've helped me along the way.